everybody. Welcome to the Real Show Barbecue. We're in the beautiful mountains of Boone, North Carolina. Tonight we're going to be cooking campfire ribs. We got about 15 pounds of ribs that we're doing, 15 pounds of spare ribs that we're doing. And we got these spare ribs from the Country Butcher out of LaGrange, North Carolina. Be sure to go and check him out, guys, if you're in the area. Also check him out on Facebook as well. The product that we're going to be using tonight is Jim Quisenberry's. His rub is called the Rub Beautiful. And what we want to go ahead and do is, I've already moved, removed the silver skin and I've already got a lot of the fat off already. So what we're going to do is put a little bit of olive oil on here. Just rub that in good. We'll do this on both sides. And I'm sorry if you hear any noise in the background, but we are in a campground. Let's go ahead and season this up really well. This rub smells awesome. Turn it over on this side. All right, we're gonna get this set up. Um, let the uh, campfire going real good with the hot, hot coals, and we'll get these on just a few minutes and let you guys take a look at it. All right, everybody, we got the uh, spare ribs over the coal. We're going real good. Uh, we've got a little makeshift grill we got going on here, but again, this is campfire spare ribs we're cooking up tonight. So we'll let these stay on for a little bit. If you've seen my first video that I've done, we did one hour ribs. That's basically the same purpose we're going to be doing tonight. 15 minutes on each side. Wrap it in aluminum foil for another 30. Put our barbecue sauce on there. So we'll be back in just a little bit. Hang tight. All right, everybody. Uh, we have flipped these over. We're getting some nice char on there. Again, the char is just from the rub, so it's not affecting the meat at all. Um, so we're probably about 25 minutes into the cook. Uh, another five, 10 minutes maybe, and we'll put these in aluminum foil, cook them for another 30 minutes, and they'll be ready to roll. Be back in a little bit. All right, we've got these wrapped in aluminum foil. Hopefully you can see we got charcoal directly underneath it. We got some oak wood on the outside, and we're about 30, 35 minutes into the cook. I know 30 minutes, and we'll put some barbecue sauce on these bad boys. See you in a little bit. All right, guys. We've got them out of the aluminum foil. We're going to taste it with some barbecue sauce. Again, we're using Jim Quisenberry's Sauce Beautiful. And, guys, this is awesome stuff. If you go to BluffCityBarbecueSupply.com out of Memphis, Tennessee. You can get some of this good stuff. Let's taste them. And I tell you guys, what I did was I took there was some juice after I took the aluminum foils off and I took that juice and I poured it right inside this barbecue sauce and you give it an extra little zip. Let me finish putting these on there, guys, and we'll see in a little bit. We'll do a little taste test. So, back in just a little, little bit here. All right, guys, we're going to give these a taste. They look great. They taste fantastic. I'm turn it over so I can cut them real good. And, I, guys, I've got my buddy Ethan Lane with us. Excuse me, I had to lick my fingers. He's going to taste these bad boys. Another one, buddy, so I can try them with you. And they are hot as 
fire. Alright. Can we see in here? Can you get in here? Look at that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Here you go, Ray. Alright. Get an honorary taster tonight. Let me know what you think. <laughs> How's it taste? Flavor? That's good. Can you taste the rub in there? Yeah, you can some taste the seasoning. The seasoning and the different Let me, let me try this. The barbecue sauce is good. <laughs> That's delicious. Yes, sir. Jim, buddy, I hope if you're watching, this stuff is fantastic. I'm going to have to get some more from you real soon. All right, guys. Check him out. Jim Quisenberry, great combination. Until again, guys, thank you so much. We're going to try to stay warm for the rest of the weekend. God bless.